Welcome to the playlist of map-based learning. In this video, we'll get to know the industrial regions of North America. The industrial output of North America is heavily contributed by two nations. They are United States of America and Canada. Let's look at the places in USA first. So USA is such a massive nation, hence to understand better, the industrial units have been broadly divided in regions. And there are six regions. So let's quickly locate each one of them. The first one is the New England region. Now it comprises of six states. They are Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. This is the largest industrial region on earth. The major industries in this region are electrical machinery, textiles, leather, fabricated metals, and other sorts of industries. The reason it's called the New England region is because in 1620, many people from England settled in this region. They crossed the Atlantic Ocean and came this side. The second region is the New York and Mid-Atlantic region. This region extends from New York, Baltimore, and the Middle Atlantic states of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, Philadelphia, and Baltimore. This region is famous for steel production. The third region is Northeastern region. We are talking about places like Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago, Ohio, Michigan, and Wisconsin. These all are places located near this region. There's a big lake over here, and it is also called Mid Lake region. The fourth region is the Southern Industrial Region. We are talking about places like Mississippi, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Oklahoma, and Texas. The major industrial product includes textile, food and beverages, tobacco, and furniture, then petrochemicals, aircraft, and heavy chemicals. The fifth region is the Western Region. It comprises the states of Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Nevada, and Arizona. And the last region is the Pacific Coastal Region. These are the states of Washington, Oregon, California, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. And to the left of it is the Pacific Ocean. That's how it is called the Pacific Coastal Region. So these were all the industrial region in USA. Now we'll head over to Canada, which is the second country in North America. Canada is the second biggest industrial country in North America. Here manufacturing is highly developed. This country has huge amount of iron ore, petroleum and forest resources. So the industrial unit is divided into three regions. Let's get to know each one of them. The first one is Ontario and St. Lawrence Valley. We are talking about states like Quebec, Ontario, Ottawa, Toronto, Hamilton. This region produces paper, cheese, flour, agricultural machinery, copper, nickel, iron and steel and chemical products. The second region is Prairie Region. The places of this region are Manitoba, Winnipeg, Edmonton, Alberta. Petroleum refinery and chemical industry are famous over here. And the reason it's called Prairie Region is because prairies are ecosystems considered part of the temperate grasslands, savannas and shrubland biome. So in this temperate climate, you'll find moderate rainfall and a composition of grasses, herbs and shrubs rather than trees. And the third region is located at the Pacific coast. We are talking about regions of Vancouver and British Columbia. The major industries are paper and pulp, furniture, agricultural machinery and Heidel power stations. So these were all the industrial regions in Canada. In the next video, we'll see the industrial regions of Europe.